Artist Jess McMillan fell in love with mosaics and community murals. Her work is meant to serve the Dayton region and beyond through collaboration to create large-scale works of art. I am a mosaic artist. I have grown up all around Dayton at age 16. I made my first mosaic on a piece of two by four, two feet by four feet plywood uh, from the neighbor's garage. I went to school at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, and after graduating there, I moved home to Dayton right after that. I met Jerry Sannard of the K-12 Gallery and began my journey of turning that process of me creating my own mosaic work into teaching and leading the community to create the work. I left K-12 to found the Mosaic Institute of Greater Dayton to become my vehicle for doing good in the community of Dayton. I have always had a special place for Dayton in my heart. It's hard to really describe, I guess many of us Daytonians feel this way about our city. We have a, an incredible energy and a movement, especially in the arts. Being an artist activist with the ability to lead a, a large-scale collaborative artwork um, has made me realize that it's my responsibility to serve my community with my special gifts. And so I, I definitely feel, you know, a call to be here and to unify you know, my community, my people that I, that I live with every day and experience life with. The Downtown Dayton Partnership offered its first Art in the City grant, which we were very lucky to receive. So we proposed a 12 foot wide by nine foot tall gem, a multicolored gem that would be created by all the Daytonians in the city that would come out during Art in the City. And that that finished gem would go into the sidewalk outside of the entrance to the Dayton Arcade, which is the beating heart of our arts community. And so we had this great day of unity in our city, and then the following night, a terrible tragedy, the shooting in the Oregon District. Uh, we were called probably about seven hours after the shooting and asked to, you know, ask what, what could we do? What could we provide um, to bring the community together as a way of healing? What type of collaborative project could we offer? And we instantly started working on it. What does that look like? How can we do this? The day before, in Art in the City, we had just led our largest collaborative piece, The Gem, and over a thousand participants walked up to us that day. And so coming off of that unity, and now what do we offer again to this public uh, to bring people together? We designed the Nine Doves porcelain mosaic. It was created as a permanent memorial. Our part is creating the ability for people to come and to heal. And with this mosaic, we have designed it to where all nine doves have been created ahead of time. And so those pieces are finished. And as participants come up to the mosaic, they can connect with those nine doves representing each of the victims that we lost. I think that art has the ability, creation has the ability to open us up and maybe even connect where we can feel and love ourselves and give ourselves room for expression and, and room to feel those feelings and to process. It, it can be used to empower. Um, art is essential. It, it is a part of all of us. We put in a proposal for creating games in the sidewalks in a neighborhood that had no public parks, no green space for the kids to play. So we proposed creating interactive games all in the sidewalk in the neighborhood to engage them and give them something to do. So the best part about the project is that we went into Kettering Middle School and created a 29-foot hopscotch with over 80 seventh graders. So you have this giant hopscotch that is a beehive, and it has eight games in it, and then you have 10 bumblebees that are scattered throughout the neighborhood. 
And the goal was to create games that would engage people of all ages. So you can just go and find the bees, and you have to find all the bees in the hopscotch, collect the letters to solve the secret hidden puzzle of the art piece. The focus of going into the school and working with those kids was to bring them together and to allow them to see the physical process of these mosaic pieces coming together. And all the pieces are made out of the same material. They're all shaped differently. Uh, they're all different colors. But we need all of those different shapes and all of those different colors to make this big, beautiful mosaic picture. And so in that process, we're able to relate that to them. They are made of the same material. They are different shapes and different colors. And every one of them are needed to create this beautiful, unified picture. And in this process of working together, they can physically see this amazing accomplishment. And my hope is that this unifying experience might empower them as they grow, they, they might see each other and, and the differences that are there as a reason to connect and the things that make it better to connect, the things that make teamwork the best are the differences that we have.